Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor. To learn where you can download a copy and how to use it, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you find this video helpful, then help us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release new videos. Triangles in Inkscape can be very important. We might just want them for drawing so we could use our Bezier tool and just draw out a triangle. We might want an uh, exact equilateral triangle. So we could go up to our polygon tool, click on polygons, make sure the corner's set to three, and then we can drag out an equilateral triangle. But sometimes we want them for other reasons. We want it to be exact, exact lengths or exact angles. Um, for example, we might have three circles and we might want to just join these together so they're just touching tangentially. But trying to get it accurate is very difficult. But but if we had a triangle whose sides were equal to the sum of the radiuses of the circles, we could just snap our circles to the triangle. And we'd know for sure that our circles are perfectly tangentially touching, which is, I think, quite handy. So how do we make these triangles? So if we wanted to create a triangle with um, exact side lengths, if we were trying to tangentially join together these circles, so we could determine the length of the sides that we need by adding the radiuses together. Um, when we use this method, the side lengths are in anti-clockwise order for some reason, and so are the angles. So we need to construct this triangle so we can just attach our three circles. So to create our triangle, we are going to go up to Extensions and down to Render then down to triangle. Click on this and this pops up a dialog box which allows us to enter side lengths, um, angles, and then you've got mode down the bottom. So you can choose how you want to construct your triangle. So you can use either from three sides, uh, from two sides and an angle. Um, what else have we got? Uh, two angles and a side. So you choose whichever is relevant for your project. You can click on Live Preview. I've already entered in the figures here, so I've got 500 for side A, 700 for side B, and 600 for side C. And with the Live Preview, we can see our triangle appear. So once you're happy with your triangle, press Apply. And it'll create your triangle. So there you have the triangle that you wanted. If we put our circles back up, we should then be able just to click on our circles and making sure that over on our right hand side in snapping menu, we've got snapping enabled, uh, snapping to cusp nodes in the second section and snapping to centers in the third section. We can then just attach our circles. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other reasons why you might want to make an exact triangle. That's just one that I came up with. I hope this has been helpful. And as ever, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.